Hello all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about some ways that your local game store may actually be losing its customers. I have some previous videos and such that discuss uh, ways to improve your marketing strategies and just help your business as a whole that can kind of follow up on this video. But today we're going to discuss some negative aspects. So I put it like this. Businesses are similar to living things. Uh, they have life cycles. The end of which is death if no evolution takes place. So with this idea, more traditional businesses have been facing these failures and hard times due to them sticking to certain strategies and not evolutionizing and coming up with new ideas and better strategies. But the majority of local game stores are actually in latter categories, so they're slowly but surely facing extinction if acute changes are not instituted to enforce a revival. So these are most likely the traditional businesses. Uh, they get stuck in a comfort zone, which is one of the things that caused this loss of customers. Once a recipe works for an extended time, the tendency to like sit back and just savor the success, it comes naturally. People are bound to act that way, but by the time a business realizes it's in the comfort zone, the damage is most likely done with its customers and audience and business as a whole. Making a comeback can usually provide more challenging if wrongly handled. Uh, things may go quickly from bad to worse. Uh, this is how majority of local game stores actually get to where they're at. Uh, and the increased delicacy of the enterprise getting back on track, it makes it harder to recover their actual lost ground. So this way of moving can definitely lead to a loss of customers and less success within your business. Staying in that comfort zone is not what we want to do. Adult online presence, it's a big thing. Internet is a big thing. As I talked about in my other videos, how one of the ways to better your business is to have an appropriate and a good working website. So if you have adult online presence, Businesses without a vibrant and commanding online presence are sure to face hard times as everything seems to be going digital nowadays, particularly businesses for one. The most prominent brands in various sectors, for example, are working overtime to strengthen and fortify their online presence, which has led to an online marketing expenditure uh, surpassing traditional things like TV advertisements, radio, print media, and as you might imagine, not many local game stores have an online presence worthy of praise, which is one of the reasons that this field is struggling. With that dull online presence and you staying in the comfort zone sometimes leads to even more poor decision making, which is another aspect of the ways that these businesses or stores um, lose customers. So poor decision making could be a thousand things, but at the foundation of all business woes is poor and putrid. While there's usually room to correct and recover from mistakes, the reality of this is that sometimes for some errors and the flexibility to recover is low or very non-existent, and that's just the reality of it. If it were not so, the countless businesses that have gone under would still be in existence. Uh, in the face of rapid change, local stores improving in other ways, using different strategies, just some traditional have been making the wrong choices, and it's unfortunate that this is the way things go about just because of a business's idea to move in a certain way. So you're going to want to have some better decision making, researching everything you're doing, finding the best strategy to execute. Another big thing of the way that you're going to lose customers as a business is going to be poor customer support. You're always going to want to make the customer happy. The customer is the most important person. The current consumer base wants to feel valued, they want to feel cherished, and this is reflected in the brands that they go for. So that being said, you're going to have to have quality customer support. They want their concerns attended to, their input to be valued, taken into consideration, and any areas of friction to be just ironed out. Uh, if an e enterprise fails to meet this, Punishment is abandonment. The customer leaves you. The customer no longer wants to work with you. You lose this customer. Brand loyalty now comes with more strings attached. There's things like uh, Amazon, Apple, Zappos, and other fly, high-flying brands that are good examples of this, but many local game stores have been able, unable to meet these high support standards. So set yourself apart. Have a high support standards and meet them. 
Uh, in the previous videos, I talk about ways to um, make your marketing more efficient. So if you're unaggressive with your marketing approach, that can be of definitely losing customers. Uh, competition is a plenty of things to the digital re revolution. It has caused competition to be so great in these fields that people want to start businesses and audiences. There's competition between all of that. This effect is that enterprises are being forced to commit to more resources to get similar results. And just many local game stores, they do not even have the resources needed to even make this happen. So they're losing these customers due to competitors. So digital revolution is a big thing, guys. You're going to want to definitely be aggressive with your marketing, strategize it, research, trial and error it if it's necessary. Uh, lack of innovation is a big one that many stores lose customers based off of. Local game stores, for the most part, they've relied on... Uh, largely the same thing so there's not a big notable revolution in how they conduct business necessarily which that's partially to blame for these fortunes and stuff that occur but industries making headway are heavily investing in innovation to solve these problems put in another way uh, local game stores basically rely on outdated business practices and unforgiving economic environment you can't be this traditional business using the same strategies it's just not gonna work they're gonna be outdated and as i just said this economic environment is literally unforgiving you don't want to fill in your business um something else that i wanted to talk about is the inflexibility and rigidity the old guard phenomenon it uh not too sure if you guys heard about it but it's a has been another big disadvantage and may be responsible for custom, customer loss as we're discussing. So basically saying that you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Any business owner that wants to make money and have the most customers and inherent inflexibility that increases with age may erect a hurdle. So that's something to keep in mind. As far as shifting preferences, that can aid in your loss of customers. If people still highly preferred video game stores, they would be popular, but this is not the case, obviously. Current gaming fans prefer convenience, and they find it online stores and platforms. Some store owners see it as the bad luck, but the reality is that the market is like that. Very fluid and susceptible to change. So individuals enjoy being in the comfort of their home, purchasing things online and such. So you're going to want to have these online platforms that we discussed in this well-developed website that I also discussed. Mobility is a thing, as as well as flexibility, as we discussed, but mobility is another factor. Uh, in line with, like, the actual convenience, today's consumer base wants what they want, when they want, how they want, and more impor importantly, where they want it. They want it all. Many local games fail in many of these expectations. These are ways that you can set yourself apart, uh, Give more to your audience. Favor your audience. Do a lot of research on what they want. When do they want it? How do they want it? And then just meet all of these requirements. Uh, their satisfaction is going to be very important to your business. Many local game stores, like I said, they fail in these uh, expectations. And uh, online stores provide an easy solution. So they're not having to deal with some of these stores. And these stores aren't necessarily keeping that in mind when moving the way they do. So dealing with change is hard, uh, and dealing with it appropriately is a true mark of long-term success. That said, local game stores can regain their lost glory through repositioning, since statistics clearly portray that game fanhood continues to grow online. So these are things to keep in mind as a business owner. Uh, okay, so these are just some ways that you can lose customers, so keep in mind to try and do the opposite or learn from them and um for more like illuminating game coverage and just more knowledge about these topics and such you guys can go ahead and check out mtglion.com and i would really appreciate it and i appreciate you guys for watching this video i hope it was very informative and leads to more success thanks